Did you know that in China you can be identified by your face, your walk, even your shadow? It's true. China's government has spent billions building the world's most advanced surveillance system. It's so powerful experts say it can track over 1.4 billion people. That's almost everyone in China, folks. Think about that for a second. Every move you make, every place you go, potentially recorded and analyzed. For some, it sounds like something out of a dystopian sci-fi film. For others, it's a necessary tool for maintaining order in a complex society. Whatever your initial reaction, one thing's for sure. China's tracking system is a game changer. This ain't just about catching shoplifters, people. We're talking out about a system with the potential to reshape society as we know it. What are the implications for privacy, for freedom? These are questions we need to be asking. So what exactly is this system we're talking about? It's a question that has many layers. It's not just one thing, but a complex network of technologies all working together seamlessly to create a comprehensive surveillance system. Think facial recognition software, artificial intelligence, and good old-fashioned CCTV cameras, all linked up and spitting out data faster than you can say Xi Jinping. These components are designed to work in harmony, creating a powerful tool for monitoring. This system is already being used in a bunch of different ways, from catching criminals to managing traffic. It's not just about security, it's about efficiency and control. The Chinese government claims it's all about keeping people safe and maintaining social harmony. They argue that such measures are necessary for the greater good. But critics argue it's just a fancy way for the government to keep tabs on its citizens and silence any dissent. They see it as an infringement on personal freedoms and privacy. And here's the kicker. This technology is only getting more powerful. With each passing day, advancements are being made that enhance its capabilities. As artificial intelligence gets smarter and facial recognition software gets more accurate, the potential for abuse only grows. A line between security and surveillance becomes increasingly blurred. It's a slippery slope, folks, and we need to be very careful where we draw the line. The balance between safety and privacy is delicate, and it's up to us to ensure it is maintained. Let's be real. The idea of being constantly watched is creepy. It's like living in a horror movie where the villain is always lurking, but you can't see them. No one wants to feel like they're living in an Orwellian nightmare where Big Brother is always looking over their shoulder. It's a suffocating feeling knowing that every step you take is being monitored. And it's not just about the government either. Corporations are just as guilty, if not more so. What about corporations using this technology to track our every move and sell us stuff? They collect data on our habits, preferences, and even our conversations. It's enough to make you want to throw your phone in the ocean and move to a remote island. But even then, can you truly escape? But it's not just about feeling creeped out. The implications run much deeper. This technology has serious implications for basic human rights. Our right to privacy is being eroded. What happens when governments can track your every move? They gain unprecedented control over our lives. What happens when they can use that information to silence dissent or target specific groups? The potential for abuse is staggering. These are not hypothetical questions, people. This is our reality. We're already seeing this. Are you enjoying the video? If yes, please subscribe, like and share our videos for more updated and exciting content. Let's continue. And as this technology spreads to other countries, we need to be prepared for the potential consequences. We must stay vigilant and protect our rights before it's too late. So how does this whole thing actually work? Well, imagine a giant spider web of cameras, sensors and databases all connected and constantly feeding information to a central hub. Every time you walk down the street, use your phone or even just buy a cup of coffee, you're leaving a digital trail. And in China, that trail is very, very easy to follow. Facial recognition software can identify you from a crowd in seconds, even if you're wearing a mask. Gate analysis can track your walking pattern, making it almost impossible to disappear into a crowd. And with the help of artificial intelligence, this system can analyze all that data and predict your next move before you even make it. It's like having a digital shadow that follows you everywhere you go, recording your every move. And for the Chinese government, that shadow is a goldmine of information. The high cost of security. The big question is, how much privacy are we willing to sacrifice in the name of security? It's a tough question, and there's no easy answer. On the one hand, we all want to feel safe. We want to know that our governments are doing everything they can to protect us from harm. But on the other hand, we don't want to live in a world where our every move is tracked and recorded. We don't want to live in fear of our own governments. It's a delicate balance, and one that we need to be very careful about navigating. 
the global perspective, a world of watchers. And here's the thing, this isn't just about China anymore. Surveillance technology is spreading like wildfire all over the world. From London to New York, governments and corporations are increasingly turning to these tools to monitor our every move. Some argue that this is just the natural progression of technology. They say that if we want to live in a safe and secure world, we need to accept that some level of surveillance is necessary, but others warn that we're sleepwalking into a dystopian future where privacy is a thing of the past. The truth is, the future of surveillance is still being written. And it's up to us to decide what kind of world we want to live in. The privacy tightrope. Finding the balance. So how do we strike a balance between security and privacy in the age of mass surveillance? This is a question that has become increasingly important as technology advances. It's a tough question, and there's no easy answer. The complexities involved require us to think deeply and consider multiple perspectives. But here are a few things to think about. We need to start by understanding the implications of our choices. First, we need to have a serious conversation about the trade-offs we're willing to make. This involves open dialogue and active participation from all stakeholders. How much privacy are we willing to give up in exchange for security? This is a personal and societal question that requires careful consideration. And what safeguards do we need to put in place to prevent these technologies from being abused? We must think about regulations and ethical guidelines. Second, we need to demand transparency from our governments and corporations. Transparency is key to building trust and ensuring accountability. We need to know how these technologies are being used and what data is being collected on us. This information should be accessible and understandable to everyone, and we need to hold them accountable for any misuse or abuse. Eagle frameworks and public oversight are essential in this regard. And finally, we need to remember that technology is not destiny. We have the power to shape its use and impact. Just because we can do something doesn't mean we should. Ethical considerations must guide our actions. We need to be thoughtful and deliberate about how we use these powerful tools, considering both the benefits and potential harms, and we need to make sure that they are used to empower, not oppress. By working together, we can find a balance that respects both security and privacy. What do you think? So what do you think? Is China's tracking system a necessary tool for maintaining order in a complex society, or a terrifying example of government overreach? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And for further reading on this important issue, check out these resources. Link to an article about China's social credit system. Link to a documentary about facial recognition technology. Link to an organization fighting for digital privacy rights. The future is in our hands, folks. Let's make sure we make the right choices. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.